Hi everybody, this is Don Gulling, CEO of Vertex Consulting. I want to give you a quick demonstration and training on how to customize user toolbars and set up global toolbars in Mitel Connect, uh, formerly Shortel. As you can see at the bottom of the screen is our URL. We've got some other training videos on our website. Uh, please check those out. What I want to cover first is the three-step process that's used to do this. Set up a global toolbar and apply it to a user. First, you're going to create a new global toolbar. Then you're going to assign that toolbar to a user group. And then lastly, you're going to add buttons in the client application. The great thing about Mitel Connect is it allows administrators to give users options for their client toolbars. So users can have multiple buttons and kind of lay them out any way they like, uh, depending on what they need for their work role. So let's dive right into it. Well, you see on my screen here, I've got the Mitel Connect Director interface. I'm going to navigate over to the uh, section we need to make these changes, but I want to show you a nice tool first. Let's say you don't remember all this. Just remember you got a search function up here at the top. You can just type in the phrase toolbar, and it'll find all the places where you can go to that. So if you remember to use the search function, you can always find it. I'll show you how I navigate there. For global toolbars first, we're going to go to features, then the client, and then global toolbars. What you'll see here is that we already have two global toolbars defined. I'm going to add a third. So I click a new button, and I give it a name. I think it's always nice to offer users uh, training options. So we're going to create a training toolbar that gives them access to all the documentation that they ever need for their job. You can link it to videos, you can link it to PDFs. It's a really great tool. Then I go to the function, and I'm going to scroll. You'll see all the functions you can add on the toolbar. Very extensive list of things you can do here. I'm going to invoke a URL. When I'm going to put in this URL, any kind of web address, internal address, you name it, it can all be there. This is a copy of the URL that targets a PDF I've got uh, for the voicemail quick reference guide. So I'm going to call this voicemail quick reference. Right? I hit save. Now I have a toolbar named training with a button on it that says voicemail quick ref that goes to a PDF. You'll see here under user groups, no user groups have been defined. So it's not actually assigned to anybody. That's the next place we go. So go to users, user groups. You'll see all my user groups are listed here. I've got a special group on my system because I've got some unusual features that I like to play with and demo. So I'm going to select the Don user group. I'm going to click on my profile button and that's where you see all my toolbars listed. I'm going to go to toolbar number three and you see here that training toolbar we just created is available. I select that. I click save. Simple as that. What I've done is I've created a new global toolbar, added a function to it, assigned it to a user group. Now that that's all done, I'm going to pull up my Mitel Connect client software. You'll see that up here. In my client software, you'll see my existing toolbar. This is the one I use today, and it's been customized for me with a lot of one touches to all the people that I work with. I'm going to go ahead and add that button. There's a plus symbol right here at the bottom. I click that. This shows me all the button options I have available to me from all my toolbar assignments. I'm going to scroll down here, and right here you'll see that VM Quick Ref that we signed up, uh, created on that training toolbar. It's already there, and now you'll see it's on my toolbar. I close that out. Just as easy as that, I click the button, the PDF pulls up, and I've got my voicemail Quick Reference right at my fingertips whenever I need it. So that's the demo I wanted to show you, how to set up a global toolbar, how to add a button to it, how to assign it to a user group, and then also a neat trick on using an invoke URL to pull up a training video or a PDF. Thanks for joining us for this uh, quick demo and training session. And remember, you can always find us on the web at www.vertex.com, where you can find us on YouTube. Have a great day.